how can communication between intelligence agencies actually be improved? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is United States Congressman Leonard Lance. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much, Jill, for having me. Many people are concerned at this point when they think about getting on an airplane, particularly in light of, of some incidents throughout the world and recently what happened on Christmas Day here in the United States. Talk to us a little bit about the idea of greater cooperation between intelligence agencies and how this could potentially improve our safety when it comes to flying. Uh, there was a systemic breakdown regarding the Christmas Day incident and uh, we had warnings and, and this is a person who should never have been permitted to board an airplane and uh, there was a lack of uh, connection of the dots among various intelligence agencies and for example uh, that person should have been not denied a visa by our State Department and, and none of that occurred even though his father indicated to our embassy that this was a person who had been radicalized and, and was a potential threat and it's only uh, by act of God that there was not a horrific tragedy on Christmas Day and so we need much greater coordination among the intelligence agencies and, and the 9-11 the Commission uh, warned us about this. Uh, governor Kane, uh, uh, our distinguished former governor here in New Jersey who headed the Commission indicated in that report with other Commission members that, that agencies have to talk with each other and, and I don't think we have yet uh, achieved that goal and I assure you that on a bipartisan basis Congress is going to demand that. Uh, regarding other ways to be successful, I, th I favor full body screening in airports. I know this is controversial, Jill, but, but that is my view and I think it's the view of the American people. So let's talk about that as a technology, as, as one avenue, if you will. Uh, there obviously is the privacy concern of full body scans, basically getting an image uh, through, your, through your clothes, if you will, uh, but there's also the concern that maybe this technology has not progressed enough to protect us from every threat. Uh, it may not protect us from every threat, but I think it would have protected us in, in the situation of the Christmas bomber. Um, and um, I think that the privacy concerns are outweighed by making sure that we are as, as safe as possible while traveling in the air. And uh, my office did an online poll on this question, and the vast majority of those who chose to participate in the poll favored uh, uh, the full body screening. Uh, that is going to be instituted at Newark uh, Liberty International Airport. It also should be instituted, in my judgment, across the world, particularly at hubs like Amsterdam, Frankfurt, and other places in Europe and Asia uh, where those who board planes there eventually come to the United States. At this point, there's a particular focus on individuals with passports from specific countries. Is that an important step in protecting us here at home, uh, people who are holding these passports from countries that may be more threatening to the United States? Um, I, I rely on the experts uh, in this area on, on that question, uh, but certainly I think that um, if you are boarding a plane paying in cash with a one-way ticket uh, to a place like Detroit on Christmas Day without a coat, I think that's a warning, and I do not consider that to be inappropriate. And additionally, of course, the visa never should have been granted. Now, when it comes to this greater cooperation, because that seems as if you feel that's the larger issue here at stake, how can Congress work to ensure that agencies like the FBI and the CIA, other homeland security agencies, are actually all on the same page and communicating in a more effective manner. Uh, Congress will hold hearings on this issue and certainly uh, the Secretary of Homeland Security, uh, uh, Janet Napolitano, uh, will come before Congress and we're going to be asking her questions regarding uh, uh, her responsibility. There was a systemic breakdown. The President has indicated that and for the safety of the American people moving forward, we have to do a much better job. All right, please come back and give us an update as these hearings progress. Thank you. We've been talking with United States Congressman Leonard Lance. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.